Alright people, what up man? It's your boy Vagabond here to give you my thoughts on Hajime no Ippo Rising, episode 3. Now, this episode, it was decent. It was decent for me. It might not be decent for some people. But um, overall, I thought it was a decent episode. You know, we got good comedy. I thought the comedy was good. We got, you know, some um, character development. Well, not really character development, but you know. We're now shifting shifting focuses on Aoki and his title match for the Japanese title. And um and then we got like a nice little um um how you call that talk between Kamugawa and um Ippo. So I thought all that was like pretty good. And that's what made it a decent episode for me. Now the comedy, I thought it was funny. I really liked the way in the beginning when you had the three girls coming to visit Ippo at the house while he's trying to recover. You know, you had Kumi. You had, um, who was that girl? Itakigaki, um, little sister. And then you had the sports lady, the little sports writer lady. They were all visiting him. You know, um, old boy's sister. She shows, up, she shows up first. Trying to, you know, attend to his needs or whatever. You know, Ippo, he's just fucking laid out sleeping. She's trying to sneak a little kiss in and shit. And then that's when Kumi shows up. She's all fucking like, yeah, I'm a registered nurse. I can be here and this and that shit. And then the sports writer shows up. And then it's like, damn, Epo, get your ass up, bro. You got these fucking fine ass three girls in your room, dog. Come on, man, get up. Get up. I was, <laughs> I, was I was saying that shit. I was like, get up, man. But um, I thought that was funny and whatnot. You got the sports writer lady going through his shit. But, um, yeah, that was a good moment. Um, the other moment, I believe, at the end, at the end of the, um, show, when you had, um, the opponent for Aoki, he's watching videotape and shit on Aoki, and, you know, he's talking about his, like, unorthodox style. Basically, it's really a dirty style. This, cause, you know, Aoki, man, how he fights, like, he has no fucking skills, like, really. I mean, he got 10 wins and 6 losses. Like, come on, man. That just tells you right there. I mean, he's he's fucking bum status. Like, <laughs> oh, but he's getting the title shot, though. But, um, yeah, you got the guy watching his videotape, and he's showing out. Uh, you know, he's looking at all the attack moves and shit that Aoki has. And Aoki, he's just fucking dirty to the bone, man. Like, dirty fighter, yo. Even going so far as to fake, like, he's dying in the ring, like... I just thought that shit was funny though, but um, yeah, that was that was about it. Bang, that was about it. You know, with the comedy, I thought that shit was pretty funny. Now, the talk that Ippo had with Kamugawa, I thought that was a good talk because um, Ippo, he now knows what Kumagawa was talking about when Kumagawa said, "You're not ready for Miyata," or Miyata has passed him up. Because Miyata, his his countering style has been has taken new levels than what it was in the first series. And Ippo, his um Dempsey role, even though he won that match against Shimabukura, his Dempsey role, the blueprint is out there. Like it's out there now. So like niggas know how to attack it. And even though Ippo has made that Dempsey roll into his like own, just from almost perfecting it. Ippo has to come up with something new now. He has to go to another style. He has to fall back on something else. Because if he was to face Miyata right now, he'll get fucking embarrassed. Because Miyata, even though even though what you can call it, Ippo has perfected that Dempsey roll. Miyata. That's what he he wants. He wants he wants Ippo to come in like that, just so he can counter the shit out of him all day, all day. And we know how Miyata get down on a countering. So Ippo he understood what Kumagawa means. So he's gonna be training harder. He knows niggas are gunning for him because it's like that in real life, man. Once you got that title, look, you could be one of those guys that be grinding. To get that world title, you're the hunter. But once you got that world title now, now you become the hunt hit. You know, people are hunting for you now. So it's like a whole different spectrum. 
You have to be prepared. You have to be ready to defend your shit at all times. Because now you're not the one hunting. People are hunting for you. But um, overall, like I said, this was a decent episode. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. The animation was good. And, oh yeah, man, did you check out that throwback music? Like, yo, man, that was some music from the fucking first series, yo. I was like, damn. Because you remember in the flashback, Daioki, when he was having... No. When Aoki, he was getting off of work. And he was talking about how, you know, um, Ippo and Takamara passed him up and shit. And it's like, you know, they take their shit serious and shit. And you just hear that throwback music, though. I was like, damn. They must have put that throwback music back because you didn't hear it that much during the first two episodes. You heard it a little bit, but this one, it was definitely in there. So I think we do got that composer back from the first series. Or they just might have just fucking copy and paste all that old shit and put it on this um series. But they do got some new shit, though. I heard some new shit, but um, yeah, man. This is it. S- uh, six out of ten. This is my Hajime no Ippo Rising Episode 3 thoughts. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, and I'll holla.